Look here, folks. Look at my buddy. I just got back from the dump and I got into some real nice old marbles. A few real good ones. Um, and I'm anxious to get back. It was a little bit wet today and I still found some stuff. So, hope you enjoy the video. And here's my buddy. Look here, folks. Look here. Going crazy as usual. And there's the dog, Bubby. All right, enjoy the video. I gotta get a lot deeper. I'm down to where it's about ready to cave in and that's where the marbles are at, see what I mean? That almost fell right on the marble, you see it? I got one already, it's only been 10 minutes. It looks nice, see it there? What is this, folks? Boy, this looks good. I found a bunch of vitros, old ones, and this is what I'm calling. Some kind of vitro from around World War II, maybe. Oh, that's awesome. That's nice. It's an old vitro. Look at that. Clear base with that. That's all rust staining on it. I won't clean this off now. It's looking real nice condition. But see that? That's rust. Kicked to the outside. See a little bit of it flipped off. But I'll show you before I clean it and show you what I clean it with. This looks be this looks real nice. It's gonna look great in that frame. I have some other kind of similar ones. Wow, game maker. All right, this is what I do with these marbles. See, that's all rust from all the cans and, you know, all that crap in the dump that was dumped. What I do, lukewarm water, and then I put some dish soup in. I'm using Ajax. I like the, the orange cleaning power of oranges, that whatever, the, the acid in the oranges. It loosens that stuff up. Then what I'll do is use a little wire brush here. Um, that one's got crap. I'll leave it off to get another one out um, and clean them off and I'll show you in this video. Well, this would be like a brushed. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is nice. I'll show you too with, there's no damage to it. It's These are hard to find in nice condition. This is one of the earliest vitros from you know around World War II. I'll show you it's all clear base in that color. Look at them tight lines. That's beautiful folks. Yeah, you know, see that marble. Gotta get see right there, that's a little bit of rust thing you still want I need to see it some more. But look at that. See it's a clear marble and that color is just veneered right on the outside, like frosted on it. Look at how awesome that looks. I'm getting this cleaned out. The layer's good right down here at the bottom. I'll show it to you, but look, another marble. I saw it roll. It's melted. wonder what the heck this is. See, it's some kind of patch. It's probably some kind of old vitro. It's just ruined. I'll tear it out so I don't find it again. You kind of want to do that instead of throwing them back over the hill. But see, this raked out right with it. That's kind of an Art Deco looking food product. Maybe jam come in that, who knows. It's all marked on the bottom. What's it say? No, it's just patented and a mark. I think it's 2-8 there. Later. I'm on it now. You know, it's been slow going the last week. I was on a roll on that frame and then he got one marble in my last video. Moved back here and man, the conditions are right. There's another one. What's that right here? That's not, there's one. It's probably another real old awesome vitro from, and these will be er, vitro as early as marbles. Oh, 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 this might even be a pelt here. Oh, this is sick. This is like, oh, this is nice. Man, these are nice. That's sick. Oh, that's nice. I'll show you this. That's a day maker. Hopefully I can get onto about a dozen of them. Well, this marble's just beautiful. Look at it. Wow, that's gonna look great in that frame. Whoa. Another melted one, and that's like a conqueror. It's that vitro green, clear base. I have lots of these, hundreds of them I've dug. These last marbles were way nicer, but that stink set's all melted. Some of them are like that. It's a dump, there was fires. People even burnt trash here in piles when they threw it away <laughs> back in the day. You know, that's some kind of 50s or 60s feminine product, like bath oil, scented rays or something. It's something to that effect. I've not seen that there. That's why I'm showing it. Later. Folks, you see how deep I am. I've dug this all in the past couple days. I'm my rake deep because I took a foot or two off. And I took 
four or five foot off a year ago so i'm way underground i've just terraced it down and i'm really getting into the marbles now if i found this many here's another one and i can see swirling on it it looks amazing oh this looks good it's unique coloring some kind of little swirl it looks like it's got like honey oh yeah this is awesome these are I got the frame about oh these are gonna look good in there that's another one. all right I'll get more yeah see this it's got melt that's beautiful coloring that's very unique there'll be more in there it just rained in bad conditions and I'm still finding marbles I got some good ones today I'm happy but that one's ruined look at that you saw it sticking out there's a license plate right there see it huh I'll get it out Hold on. So date date at a high of 1948 white and black that's kind of cool I'll take it clean it up I got hundreds of them I don't need any more I'm definitely back on the marbles this has some I think that's a manufacturing error in it it is there's some weird error in that marble but man that's some kind of big like lemonade patch shooter look at it that's kind of nice kind of looks like an acro patch marble that's a shame it's messed up there it looks manufacturing error some of them are like that too that's a shame yeah that's cracking that looks like some kind of coin you get it token maybe it might just be a bazinga type thing a punch out i don't know but that thing that looks like a coin mm. well that's not a coin it's got some little hole in the middle of it it sure look like it it's like it's almost brass or something it doesn't say nothing it's hard to tell what that's off of it it could even be a button that might be where the shank was it's not bendable it's heavy metal so i don't know nothing there later what was on these bottles i'd say acl right there or maybe a paper label but they say miller bottling company marietta high on the base and i think these are from like the early 1930s wonder what was in them anybody know well this is where i'm going to start digging in my next marble digging video What's happened and it poured the rain down yesterday and into the night. We got some of them heavy thunderstorms here in Ohio. We didn't get hit hard here, but it rained enough that the, I'll dig down in there a couple feet. I'm going to get another cave in. I'll just have to keep digging it out. I've already done it three times and I'm just whipped. I'm back on the nice marbles. Let this settle and dry out tonight. And in the morning, I ought to be able to get down in there like four foot. And I think there's a lot of nice vitro and sorrel marbles down in there, hopefully. Later. See, there's the damaged ones. It's a shame on that big one. Look, you can see the patch on that. All of them ruined. I'm just going to put them in my flower bed. Later. Well, see right there, there's another one of them marbles. And the one that is right above it, I just found in this video like so I got two of them out of there and there's other old vitro marbles in it that there's the other one I put in there so I got two beauties for right in the, look at that now look at the color right there I'm kind of looking for color to kind of paint a picture to where this is so eye appealing I just like it and then it goes up and I start a new one so it's kind of like I'm um, look at that that's pretty awesome Two more nice ones today. I'm in a good spot. We'll go back. Two nice ones. I love that. Swirl. Later. <laughs>